The iron workers are accepting applications this month for apprenticeships. Their new training program begins in October. Today I was looking into the program and what it could mean for you. Iron workers are busy. There's plenty of big span construction going on in the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. It's work that can't be done without iron workers. The manpower is short. We have so many projects uh, up and coming, 2019, 2021 completion, that uh, we're just recruiting. The iron workers are accepting people for their apprenticeship program. It's four years of paid training and much of it is on the job, where workers will earn $17 an hour plus benefits to start and over $26 an hour plus benefits when they complete the program. And they learn everything about our trade, any kind of welding certifications, any kind of OSHA certifications they need. In four years, they're trained through our school and through on-the-job training, and uh, they're out in the workforce. Jake Dagoda of Boardman has been an apprentice in spring. He's learned that iron workers do rebar and foundation work, bridge decks, piers, structural steel erection, sheeting, even mill maintenance. I've learned a whole lot about construction and from structural to rebar to everything in between. Jake joined the program feeling it gave him a better future than his previous job. He's excited to be building things that people can see and he'll remember for years. It's demanding, rewarding, and also profitable. And that's kind of what I was looking for when I decided to become an iron worker was a good career that I could be proud of, you know. Um, I had a lot of jobs before this, but I had friends who were iron workers and just the history behind it and everything. It's kind of proud of what you do, you know. Now you have to be 18 years old with a driver's license and have a high school diploma or equivalent. Also pass a physical test, of course a drug test. You can apply in person at the Iron Workers Training Center on Bev Road in Boardman or at their website which is at WKBN.com.